Jared, how you doing, man? Good evening. Hey, uh, I got a notice of hearing for you with the um, the Brad Hutchinson thing. Okay. Did you know this was coming? I think you already have um, the paperwork for the, on this, don't you? Um, this is, no, this is I didn't to get anything of the, of today. The court date. But yeah, I knew that he had appealed it today, okay. so it would be bumped up to something else. Yep. This I'm just here to advise you about the notice of hearing. It's uh, been moved to 11:26, 1:30 p.m. at Chester Superior Court. Okay. Um, I can go over this word for word if you want. Sure, that would be some great. Stuff that. Um, this is all your information. I won't go like read your date of birth over the. the yeah, no need for your personal info, but uh, any nope. like. Um, so what's written here? Assistance by leads from district court arraignment. The alleged victim, Mr. Garrett Ian, has committed repeated acts of stalking against myself. This is obviously talking about Brad. In public spaces, despite seeing me from some distance away, Mr. Ian has. Continue to ride his bicycle on downtown sidewalks towards I don't know where it ends or starts. Might go to another page, so I'll get to there in a minute. But he's saying he has suffered the falling financial losses and a result of stocking, medical, loss of wages, loss of personal property, and other. So he's requesting for protective orders. Intellectual property. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is what this is what the hearing's for. You're gonna go up there and say well, your side of the story, obviously. Okay. Um, so it's restraining. Did you already have a active restraining order against on him, or he had one on he you? He has a no contact okay, order with me that Judge Burke issued as a condition of his bail. I okay. was never even informed of it, but it, I haven't okay. really made any attempt to contact him. Yep. But I've heard that it was only one way, like. Okay. That I don't think there's any sort of order for me not to contact him mm -hmm. at the moment. Okay. Well, this is asking to restrain the defendant, which is you, from stalking in or abusing Brad, having any contact with me, whether in person or through third persons, including but not limited to contact with telephone, letters, fax, texting, social media, email, the sending of delivery of gifts, or any other met method unless specifically authorized by the court. You're restrained from the defendant from following... Brad for appearing in proximity to his residence, place of employment, school, or following or appearing in any other place where he may be. Restrain the defendant from stalking, abusing his relatives or members of my household. Restrain the defendant from taking, converting, damaging property in which I have legal, equitable interest in intellectual property. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, direct the defendant to temporarily relinquish to peace officers any firearms, deadly weapons. Do you have any weapons at all, like big guns or any type of guns? I don't believe I'm any sort, okay. under any sort of obligation to answer this type of question. Defendant is well known to have, he's just very access to firearms, but you don't own any. Uh, everything else is crossed off until we go down to 14. Uh, or the defendant to pay for financial losses suffered as a direct result of the stalking. Direct defendant to attend personal counseling. And let's check other. Uh, I work as a self employed street vendor, I sit in downtown Keene, and handcraft natural art objects and educational materials which I freely distribute and receive cash donations and returns. The small cash flow is vital to supplement my meager SSD and SSI income. Mr. Ian Stocking and myself has interfered with this rehabilitation program on myself and has cost me some cash money. Exact figures unknown. You're going to get a copy of this too, man, so... Uh, oh, yeah, I appreciate yeah. you going yep. over the whole thing. Uh, and it says, continued me in an obvious attempt to see how close he can come to me. Several times he has come within literally 10 feet of me while I was sitting on a bench. For example, when I have seen Mr. Ian from afar, I have done my best to avoid any eye contact. And there has been no verbal or other contact from my past. Many months ago, Mr. Ian actually collided with me when I was standing on the sidewalk in front of Keene. I'm not really sure what that is. Something office. I don't know what that is. Interesting. Public. I don't know if that's the library or something. I don't know. I guess this um, may end up being part of his defense in court. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably what he's going to say. And what they're going to go over these forms with you, too. Uh, which was witnessed by John, the public defender, investigator, and Mrs. Mindy Kimbrier. The group known as Free Keen and Robin Hood have both engaged in a pattern of stalking against me for several years now. The cases in district court is in, I don't know what that word is, I can't read his writing, of gang stalking 
and the court is well aware of FK and RH groups and Mr. Ian have been inf involved in my numerous court proceedings over the years. They and Mr. Ian do not respect the law or the court. I do not respect the court. I claim upon information and uh, it looks like believe that it is Mr. Ian's intent to provide a cause of violation of my release conditions as occurred on December 25th, 2005 in a case involving Mr. Eli Rivera. Upon information, I believe Mr. An Mr. Gary Ian, in conspiracy with others, is attempting to subvert and prevent the New Hampshire legal system. Please grant this STO so that I may... I can't read his writing again. Better protect, better protected from Mr. Ian's behaviors until this matter is fully adjudicated by the New Hampshire court system. Interesting. I don't really have much, or never have had much interaction with Eli Rivera. So. Okay. Yeah, he's going That's back to what claim. something he did. So this, he's going back to like 2005. It's, I get one more page here. Further, affiant stalking by Garrett Ian against Bradford Hutchinson. Subsequent to the filing of the original STO attached here. Mr. Ian has also stalked me at my home on Elm Street. I was sitting on my steps when he pulled up on his bicycle, obviously filming me in his video camera. When I saw him sitting there, he rode off. Also, I witnessed him stalking, stalking Mr. Fred Parcells and the City of Keene employees also on Elm Street. I called in a brief verbal report to KPD dispatch and he made a... I don't know what that word is on the call log. A note in the call log, maybe? Mr. Ian continues to harass and stalk me. I do have I swear and affirm under, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he writes all that under his signature. Yep. That Copyright. The, yeah. The above oh. is true, correct, based on my knowledge, information, and belief. Signed, Brad Hutchinson. So, this is going to be your copy, Garrett. Okay. Uh, it says, no temporary orders are issued where this case shall be scheduled for a hearing with the plaintiff. So, show up, I guess, and be able to tell your side of the story. He's going to say his side of the story. Um, so, again, it's Cheshire Superior Court at uh, November 26th at 1.30 in the afternoon. Okay? That's okay. Yours. So, that is, I'm trying to think, is that a week from what day is that? Uh, I don't know what day it is, but it's about a week, week out. Today is the, the 17th. 17th. Yeah. It's the 16th. Yep. All right. Okay. Hey, Gary, if you have any questions, give us a call. I'll call the court if we can help you out. I mean, we can't change these. These are written by the judges. So, okay. Yeah, I have a question about... Yep. Uh, I know somebody who's tried to apply for one of these in the past and been denied. I'm wondering if uh, there's, like, some sort of criteria for which a hearing is scheduled. Is it a matter of filling out the form? or It's filling out the form and then what the circumstances around it. I've seen people get denied a couple of times. It depends mm -hmm. on what's going on and what's happened in the past, how much of a, like, threat the other person is to them. So, okay. Interesting. All right, Garrett. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Take care. Make it safe. I'll still there. Take care.